Hello everyone, welcome to another tutorial. So from this one I will be sharing some fiber designs here. As you can see this is a this is the requirement I get from my client and uh, not every client give permission to share their work but some of them does and that's why I can share this with you. So he is this is the requirement he sent me and he is asking like okay so I wanted to throw, throw something at you to see what you would be able to do dollar and a dream so dollar and a dream is the name is the name of the brand i am open to creative ideas and suggestion i await to see what you can come up with i have attested the actual inside tag basic brand logo so i am looking for another artistic view or a style for the phrase let me tell you something he sent me an image or a previous logo and he is wanting something different so i'm i'll be able to show that so this is the logo he have and I don't know who made this for him and uh, this is something he have and he want something very different so he is saying that so I am looking for another artistic view or style for the phrase if possible in your design please stay away from the current concept in that state thanks and have a great day so basically he is telling me to stay away from this idea that means he already have this one so he wants something new and my job here to create something very different from this one with the name of this brand and that is dollar and a dream so first step when i started design i try to think about the brand so the name is dollar and a dream so what is the idea behind it so the idea here i can understand that they are some kind of making money and hustling or trying to make money kind of theme here and that is their dream so that is the first idea coming to my mind and so for making a design for this brand i will do like i'll incorporate dream and dollar in my design so if that is possible i can do that so for doing that i will be just making a simple text based design here but i will try to add some graphics later so first idea here is i will keep this dollar and dream a bigger focus here and then end a this part i will just keep it as a small part so this too is going to be the main focus of my this design let's try something like a okay i'm not sure something like a scripted font not sure which one is going to be it is going to be dollar and a dream okay so this one looks pretty good but let's try something else i'm not sure I want some fancy looking fonts maybe this one will work because the reason I am selecting this one is as you can see I can make a make something like this here and that will give me a space to insert my this text and for this area I can do some tweaks let's try so I am going to first of all keep a copy here so that if I need the name of the font sometimes I forgot so I am going to expand them now this is how it is i'm going to align them in the center but as you can see it is this dollar is a smaller text and dream is bigger text so that is not going to work and that's why i'm going to just manually adjust it like this so in this position this is fine i just want this part to make a cool looking effect so for this one here i'm going to bring, bring this down here because i want this area to be clear okay so something like this now for this one here i'm going to select this dream text here i will create an offset path maybe not that much bigger something like this then press ok and press ctrl x and then i'm going to select this one and now i'm going to open the transparency and for that double click on this icon here click on this clip and now here i'm going to press ctrl f so this is really important ctrl f means paste in front and that is going to paste in exactly where it was so if i just press ctrl v to paste it is going to paste anywhere else it can be pasted anywhere else but i want to paste it exactly where it was and for that i need to press ctrl f so just like this and here as you can see this is looking like creating this effect here but i want to do something else so I'm going to keep this part on top but this part I want to keep I want to go it from the behind so I'm going to select this one 
pressing shift E for eraser tool then I'm going to erase this part so as you can see this is creating this effect here this is creating a gap here but it is overlapping this area but don't worry now I need to select this one create that same offset path cut it now I'm going to select this one open transparency and press ctrl F so ctrl F is going to look like this as you can see now this part is looking good but this is overlapping so I need to select this one and then I'm going to erase this part from here so this is going to give me this cool looking effect that it is intersecting or going through one another like that kind of effect so that is what I wanted now for this one I am going to create a different font I can just make it Wanderlust or any other font I wish because this one is not the most important part of my design but here the area is kind of rectangular area so that's why I'm selecting a font that is boxy type not fancy or scripted looking so I need to make the make it smaller so that I can give it enough, enough space so as you can see this is how it is looking dollar and a dream so maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger just to fit like this and that is fine so this part this is the typography part of my design I am happy with it I will now add some graphics and the graphics are going to be some kind of dream and dollar I need to combine them here so for the dollar part here I can simply add some dollar signs here now this one is not looking very good let me try another one I can make use this one but this is also not the actual dollar sign so this one is going to be so I'm going to make it create outline to break the font I'm going to place this one here okay if I place it like this it is going to read as dollar and as dreams so that's what I don't want I'll simply place it somewhere else maybe in this area okay I'm not sure where I will place it but I will place it so that is fine now for this area here I need to create this dream effect here and for creating dream or representing dream in our design we can use kind of cloud stars and moon maybe so that's why I'll create some cloud here and for that one I'm going to create a ellipse like this then I'll create a bigger ellipse then I'll create another smaller ellipse like this maybe one here just like this and this is how it is looking right now nothing to worry about and from here I will just create a shape like this that is fine so it is going to look like kind of this okay so maybe I will remove that I'm just going to use a line from here I'm going to make it a stroke so selecting that color and with this stroke I will make it in this effect like this taper shape or whatever you call it and now I am going to create another rectangle here to fill out this area and this is how it is looking but don't worry I am going to select everything from here then I am going to deselect my line and now I am pressing shift E for eraser tool so that I can erase this part of my graphics and this is how it is going to look right now and I am happy with it nothing to worry and here I can simply add some inner shapes I'm going to break this stroke into fill and this is how it is going to be that's fine so I need to select everything I can unite them so that it will it becomes one single shape and here I will open the transparency and from this area I'm going to create a create some lines like this so maybe one line from here something like this that is good just like this maybe one or two from here 
okay so for this lines here I am going to select it I am pressing shift W for the white tool you can find it here and with this tool I am going to make this area actually I am going to make this area bigger so that it looks kind of like this and then this area I am going to make it smaller so this is how it is looking don't worry we can simply modify this that is good Okay, that is good I'm going to select this too I'll apply this effect this one and that is good okay so this is good for this one but not this one so on this one I'm going to apply this this effect here and that is how it is looking so I'm going to adjust the points here a little bit like this that is good Okay, so that much is fine. I'm going to select them all. I'm going to expand them. So this becomes a cloud like this. I'm going to place it here. I need to place it in the center position. But as you can see, the center is not actually looking good. So I'll overlap it a little bit here. Make offset path, open transparency. Or press Ctrl F here. So make sure whenever you are placing anything inside transparency, make sure that it is 100% black. Otherwise the transparency will not work. So this is how it is going to look right now. That is fine. I am going to create a moon shape here. And that is going to be an ellipse. Then Ctrl C, Ctrl F. That means copy, paste in front. And a smaller ellipse like this. And this is our moon shape. Press Shift M for Shape Builder tool remove the extra part and here you go this is our moon so I can simply place this moon kind of in this area maybe don't worry we will figure out how to make it look good now this is how it is going to be I want to make it a little bit smaller so that it fits inside the cloud shape just like this here I will select all of these shapes the text and the cloud I will create a little bit bigger offset path 10 pixel cut it now selecting the moon here open transparency and press ctrl f so as you can see this is how it is going to look this is how my shapes are looking okay maybe i will make it a little bit bigger so i am selecting all of it and then again creating another offset path which is another 10 pixel so you can see sometime it looks it looks like this if we create offset path it can create some spikes like this like this one here I don't want it so I can make it round from here and that is going to fix everything so this is not looking good because the moon is barely visible so I will keep the previous version just like this now this is how it is looking I am going to add this dollar sign somewhere in this area be in this area on another one here so this is just some random icons okay, maybe not there so this one I am going to just make it a little bit bigger and look like this that is fine okay and here I need to add some stars as I mentioned that that is how we can represent dream so I am creating an ellipse just like this one press ctrl c ctrl f that means copy paste in front now rotate this ellipse from here i need to zoom in and make something like this now select this tool make unite and then press a for direct selection tool with direct selection tool you can select these anchor points and then we can make it look like this you can see we have our little stars that is good so i will place two three stars that is good okay so that star is looking good there maybe I will put some stars here okay so I can simply place this dollar sign in this area 
and for that I need to select this text I am going to press shift M for shape builder to join this D and then I am going to open transparency and press ctrl F here so this is how it is going to look that is fine dollar and the dream so we have some dollar icons and to represent dream we have some cloud and star icons too something like this that is good okay so i need to focus on my text here the main part of the text main part of this design is the text so i'm going to simply select this one the moon shape and inside that i will draw some shapes like this which is right now in red so it is not working and that's why i need to make it 100 percent black so this is how it is going to be and that is okay let's not do that so let's keep it like this so this is how it is looking right now i'm going to just make it a group all together then i'm going to put a black background for this design here I'm going to lock it and now I am going to select this one and then I will select all the blacks with my magic wand tool and then I will make it white so as you can see this is how it is looking so dollar and red rim this is how it is looking I'm going to change this red color to something like yellowish color and that is fine so for this one this one this one this one I'm going to make them yellow so this is how it is looking okay so as you can see this is how i work and this is how you can work also so this was the idea for my this client i wanted to create something for him that represent the name and the brand value here so if this is something he is going to like then i will let you know and this is how you can work for fiber clients so i am not taking anything i am not taking anything copyrighted or anything vector so this is a simple design and that's what i will deliver him so that's it for today's video guys i hope it was enjoyable let me know in the comment section if you have any questions see you in the next video have a great time